everyone, my name is Erin Hodson and I'm an extension entomologist with Iowa State University. And today I'm at the Johnson Farm, which is just south of Ames. I have a couple of bean leaf beetle trials that I planted here about three weeks ago. And I just wanted to take a look. They are the first beans that were planted at the farm. And I expected those bean leaf beetles to overwinter in the area to be highly attracted to these emerging plants. As I'm taking a look across the three different trials I have today, most of the plants have emerged and they've expanded the cotyledon and the first leaves, but the true trifoliates, the first ones haven't popped out yet. But I'm seeing a lot of activity. I wanted to just point out a few different things to you as we walk along some of these plots. My estimation is that over 90% of the stand has some defoliation and it can range from a small notch, maybe part of the leaf has been removed. Let's see if I can zoom up. And the pinholes and notching is pretty obvious at this point because the plants are pretty small. I'm seeing about one beetle every three, uh, three plants right now, but they're very skittish. So as you approach the plants, they're gonna drop from the plants and try to get into cracks and crevices. So the question right now is, should you do something? And even though most plants have some defoliation, um, the overall defoliation for the, for the trials is probably about 10% of the, of the foliage present. So it's still under a point at which I would consider taking action. The uh, soybeans will outgrow this defoliation really quickly, especially with the warm days that we're expecting in June. And so it is not a point at which I'm concerned right now for the soybeans itself. If you happen to have food grade, seed grade beans, and you are concerned about bean pod model virus, which is a, a virus that these beetles can vector, that's a little bit different story. But right now, I'm just gonna wait, check back in a few days, and monitor the progress of the defoliation on these stands.